Uh, three words to describe Dr. Lowry. Uh, personable, uh, extremely bright, and very driven. Passionate, definitely. Um, quirky, absolutely. And uh, very wise. Being able to teach something means that you have to understand it at a, at a level deep enough that you can simplify it. And that's a lot of fun. And then being able to see a student, that moment when their, their eyes are a little bit cloudy and confused, and then that moment of clarity when they finally get it, that's the most rewarding aspect of teaching. It's really important to make sure that for some, for some lecture materials that you have a reason to care about it, and he's really good at giving you that reason. First and foremost, I will not waste your time. My goal as an educator is to present the material in the lecture hall so clearly that you listen to me once, you review me once, and you're done. Okay? So that's my goal. I think the big thing to me is that he's very aware of the different learning styles that different, people's ha different people have. So for me, I like to draw out all my notes um, with lots of different colors and things like that. And during lecture, he will draw on the actual slides and draw through uh, phys uh, physiology ideas. Um, but then he'll also include tables for people who learn better that way. And a lot of different Differentiate into osteoblasts. which some of which will differentiate into osteocytes. This is Jenny, this is Bob, and this is Sally. He has benefited the students, probably unbeknownst to the students, by making the institution a better place. Um, his leadership within the, um, within the college, his, uh, again, drive, his personality, um, his intellectual capabilities, his research pursuits, I mean, uh, to my mind, he really personifies the, uh, all of the parameters to a, an exemplary degree, teaching, service, scholarship. Um, because he's here, the institution is better, and a better institution is better for the students. Made this incredible lab culture where we, we celebrate each other's successes, and we mourn each other's failures, and we uh, help each other out in any possible way that we can. We're so excited that Dr. Lowry turned on Cotton Eye Joe and taught us a line dance to Cotton Eye Joe and we danced up and down the hall of the science lab. <laughs>